I'm going to make a little video here about what uh, problems I'm having with this Yetter closing wheel system. You can kind of see there's five more rows to go there. Six row planter. These are the wheels we're putting on. The problem is the bolt that's supposed to go through that hole only ends up fitting through this slot. And this is supposed to work on 7200 deer planters. It's 25 years old, but it's advertised as working. There is a rock cleaner, essentially a row cleaner, trash cleaner that's down in between here that prevents rocks from getting wedged in between those wheels as you're going down the field. So here's the existing one and there's the bolt hole. Now I'm going to show you what I've had to do. I've done one. Let's go over here again. It's bouncy. Hey, at least it's not windy. It's not outside. Um, so over here is the existing explain that too well, but kind of goes like like that. Apologies for the video. So we are here existing the relationship, the distance between these two holes here and this hole where that bolt comes up is a fixed. Yetter has got two holes here, then they want to use this hole. Number one, it's off center. Well, it's that's on center. This is off center. But this hole should be back here in order to line up in the same way that the original does, because otherwise it will not fit back on the machine. So what I've had to do is take and cut. I've done it once. I'll do it five more times. A little tiny piece like this. That's going right. How do I do this? I do it left-handed. Sorry about that. It's going right in there, and then I'm torching out a little more of a rectangle right there in order to end up with something like that, because what goes in there is a shoulder bolt, because you don't have access to the bottom of it. Hopefully it's not too hot. Get it in there. It comes up and fits through the hole, right? And then it won't rotate when you tighten the nut down on the top. And you've pinned that, that uh, what am I calling that? That trash cleaner that's pinned in there. And you don't want that clogging up and messing everything up. It's about 2000 bucks for these six rows total. So 300 some odd dollars a row. I'm going back and forth with the other. He said, well, did we promise that you could use the trash thing? I'm like, no, he didn't promise. Everyone says this is the right product, and I've got the right one for the right thing, so it's a bit of a rant, but I've spent all day. My dad was up here, too, and we really don't curse, especially not at each other, but we were, I was ready to curse at the, the dealer. I mean, not the John Deere dealer who we bought these from. They're very helpful, but uh, the guys down at Yetter were just like, well, what are you going to do, bud? It's 25 years old. I'm like, well, don't sell the damn thing. Okay, so to recap, I've got one done. I'll prime that. I've got this one to go next and five more to go and you know we're all over the place here um, just dicking around so thanks for uh, bearing with my little rant and uh, well I might make one about I've got to change two tires on that planter before I get out and plant after the rain stops that's gonna be fun I got to jack it up and uh, take two tires off with drive chains I hopefully it's not too bad but thanks for listening and uh, bearing with me. Have a good day. Bye.